hey 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 jelly beans welcome back to your channel and i got a surprise for you guys today that man honey did and um i didn't i didn't film it it was our first time doing it and we just didn't film it so the next time when i make make them i'll um we'll make sure we we record we wanted to see if we could do it first so look what we made we made peach cobblers we made two of them we made one with the crust on top and this is how mama makes hers and then I made this one with the batter that you mix up and pour in the pan and I went by um, Chef Kendra's uh, recipe for this one and I did this one um, like mama's so I'm about to give a taste test don't they look delicious oh my goodness guys look at that that looks so good look at that and look at this one it looks so delicious and we was fine because we had both of the fans in here this fan was in the window the window was up and it was turned facing um inside out so it could take the the heat out the kitchen and we also had this on and another thing too guys um it been um cool all day it haven't been like hot outside look how i look out here it haven't been um hot outside it's like 7 35 right now but it been looking like this all day like the clouds was was um was out we had oh and we had the door open too so it wasn't hot in here we just mixed it up anyway and just put it in the oven and honey went in the room and finished watching he was watching and i went to set in the living room so we went in the um kitchen or anything uh you know why i was cooking but yeah, so I'm about to do a taste test, guys. Honey ain't ready to do a taste test yet because um, his stomach is full. <laughs> and uh, let me set this up. And I'm only using this spoon because, like I say, I'm just doing a taste test. This the one Honey said he want to taste too. <laughs> let me put some um, peaches over there. And then I'm going to cut a little bit from out of here. And, um, uh, oh, that looks good down in there, too. Oh, la, la. So, yeah. Let me get my crust. <laughs> so, this side got this one, and this side got the, um, stuff one. All right, you guys, wait a minute. Let me put y'all up. I do a little taste test. And so I'm going to taste the wine on this side. So see how me and honey did. See how we did with our peach cobbler. And look at that, guys. Doesn't that look delicious? Look at that. Mmm. And I let we let this bake for um 45 minutes in the oven. This is really good. Mm. I love that crust. Mm, mm, mm. I've been wanting to um mm. this is really good. I've been wanting let me go sit in here. Ooh. Wait a minute, I'm trying to go past this door. I mean, this fan without knocking it down. Oh, let me lock my door back. <laughs> I was leaving out and the door was still unlocked. Let me go sit right here, guys. Go sit down, jelly beans. Oh, excuse me. All right, so, all right, I'm about to taste, uh, let me pull it down. This one, I know I'm gonna probably um, make this one again with the, the crust. That is really good. Now, let me taste the one with the crust that was uh, I bought from the store. Mmm. 
Both of them taste good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man, honey. I wonder which one he gonna like best. Mmm. They taste so good. I was just the difference is with the both of these taste good. Oh my god, y'all, we know how to make peach cobbler. <laughs> this is so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And, and let me tell y'all something funny. When I made this one with this crust, the batter one, and you know, Chef Kendra, you, you know, you use, uh, you know, regular milk. Well, me being frugal, because I didn't have regular whole milk, I didn't even have the canned evaporated milk. You know what I had? I had sweet condensed milk. I had the small little chunky can like this. And when I tell you that that crust still tastes something good, and I think this is what's, that crust is good. And I diluted it though. I put it in our small pitcher. Honey favorite pitcher, he always making his tea juice in. I put it in a small pitcher, and then I took four cups of that um, sweet condensed milk, and I filled that can up four times and poured it in a, in a pitcher, and I stirred it in, stirred it up real good. And yes, I used what I had. And baby, when I say that this pie, this peach cobbler is something good. Mm, mm, mm. I did a good job. Yeah, well, we did a good job. Mm, mm, mm. And you can taste the butter. You can taste that sweetness of the milk. <laughs> And you could taste that butter because we melted it. We marked the almost a whole stick. And um in a pan, but we cut like um one one teaspoon off or tablespoon off and put it in the oven and let that melt. And then I poured the batter in. And then I um I had put the I laid uh, I gently put the the peaches in there but yeah but with my batter I had I had um flour and I didn't have um self rising flour so I had added um two uh teaspoons fools of uh baking soda am I saying the right or baking powder well whichever one you supposed to use that's the one I used and um, I put that in there and the salt I put in and sugar. Oh, and an egg. Don't leave out the egg. Yeah. And I mixed it up and that was my batter. Mm, mm, mm. This is really good. Mm, mm, mm. I wish y'all could taste it. <laughs> we did a good job. And the reason why we wind up with two Because some two little fat cans, when I showed y'all in the grocery haul, they had a lot of peaches in it. And you see, I only had that, I used my small baking pan. So I was like, um, we gonna need another pan for both of these peaches. Oh, and also, I poured a cup of sugar over the peaches and make sure I mixed it, you know, mixed it up well. And, um, yeah. But, um, Chef Kendra, she had two, like, she had two of the, like, um, bread loaf pans, and she made two, you know, two of them. 
And I was like, oh my goodness. I said, honey, we're going to need another pan. So I told him to get our um, bread loaf pan from down there. And that's how we wound up with two. So I said, one, we'll do with the crust like mama's. And the other one, we'll, um, I'll do it, make it like Chef Kendrick. Because I really had wanted to try that. And I think moving forward, I mean, I'm going to make them either way sometimes. But the most one I'm going to make when I do make it is the one with the batter that you make up and pour it in a pan and then put the peaches on. I really love that. Both of them is good, though. Don't get me wrong. Both of them is good. But I like the way that crust came out on top. And for real, for real, I think um, that I'm going to use condensed milk whenever I do make it. But I am going to try to make it the right way and just use the milk like you're supposed to and see how that how I like that uh, flavor too. But I mean, either way, I mean, you can always tweak, tweak recipes. That's how people, you know, you tweak a recipe or you get a recipe and you could spin it, put your own spin on it and make it your own. So, yeah. But I really like it with that sweet condensed milk. And even though I diluted it down good, it, yeah, that kicked in good and that butter that is really good guys <laughs> oh and honey made us um for dinner we had ate um what was it the the quick foods the hogs i showed you and i showed y'all that uh microwavable um what was it um microwavable uh meatloaf yeah that was the meatloaf one he had put that in the microwave and um we had some rice that was left over um in the refrigerator um, I forgot what I had fixed that rice and what I made it with. Anyway, we had rice that was in there in the container. So, I told honey, take that rice out and put that in the microwave too. And we could just have that with that. So, that's what he did. So, we had the rice with the, um, the meatloaf. That was that. And, um, yeah. But we was waiting for them pies. I've been waiting for them pies. They been cooled down. We did that earlier. But, uh, being as though honey was cooking this stuff, I wanted to eat first. And then, that's why I said only take a taste test because... I don't want to get too full, but that thing is good. I know one thing. I'm going to get um, one of my kids or somebody going to stop past here and bring me some um, vanilla ice cream tomorrow. <laughs> one of my one of our kids to come by and drop it off. I don't know. I'll probably get my son asked for some memo. Or um, even my daughter, our baby girl, boo-boo. Probably, yeah, probably ask boo-boo. Or I don't know. Either way, somebody going to drop me off some vanilla ice cream. <laughs> it tastes really delicious, guys. And before I go, um, Erica was asking me what some of the um, um, subscribers, uh, YouTubers that I watch that, um, you know, that cooks and get recipes and stuff from. So I wanted to go ahead on. I had wrote, wrote down the ones that um, I watch. And also, I'm subscribed to all the ones that I'm reading off. And I've been subscribed to them for um, a while. So, um... First of all, you already know I'm not going to leave my sister out. First and foremost, Homestead Tessie. And I love the way um, Tessie cooked because um, she cooked like a like a rustic style dishes. Like, it be simple dishes, but they like rustic styles. You know, it ain't like hers. Like, she beautified all up, make it look all fancy. And I love that style of cooking with hers because I like to cook like that too. So, sometimes when I'm cooking, I have that rustic style of mine too, you know. Ain't nothing got to be dressed, dressed up all fancy, you know. So, I love that about her. I love her, her rustic way of uh, cooking. And I also watch uh, Granny Karma. Granny Karma, I, I, um, I, I love her channel. She also do a lot of canning and stuff like that too. But she do some cooking too and she can cook. I love watching her. Uh, Big Family Homestead. Um, I like watching Krista because... Well, right now, they haven't really been doing any, um, like, cooking vlogs because they, um, you know, recently moved and stuff like that. But before they move, I like to watch, you know, stuff and her stuff from scratch and recipes and stuff like that that she was doing. So, yeah. Um, Chef Kendra. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Nayujin or something like that. But anyway, you type in Chef Kendra and her name want to pop up. Um, yes, and, um, she do a lot of, um, cooking. That's what, that's what her channel is about, just cooking. 
cook it from scratch, any, any, all types of things. I don't care if it's from um, dinner to desserts or you know whatever. And I love, I love her channel. And I just recently came across Chef uh, Kendra. Matter of fact, um, I recently came across her a couple of weeks ago, actually. So she's the only one that I really just uh, subscribed to. And um, okay, and we got one. Oh, I'm lying. One Pop Chef show. He's good too. He's good. I love his personality. He's funny, and um, he do everything. It's you know like his, like his uh, channel says, one pop chef show, and he's really good. He makes some good looking stuff. Um, what else? Oh, I love Deep South Texas. He is um, I can't even think of his name, but he's always cooking and stuff like that. He even make biscuits and make stuff from scratch, and he. Y'all got to check out his channel, too. It's called Deep South Texas. Um, Whip Pool Wheel Cooking Holler. I watch as her. Um, I like her show. I mean, I like her, her vlog, too. And she does a lot of cooking. And her food be looking good. Um, what is it? Bonita's Kitchen. I watch as Bonita. Oh, and this is one of my favorites. Mandy and the Making. Mandy in the making. Don't sleep on Mandy in the making. I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta check her out. Mandy in the making. She be doing the thing and her food. She be yeah, and she have quick, simple recipes. That's not you know, that's not hard for you to do and it's not complicated and stuff like that. So yeah, but her stuff, Mandy be cooking some stuff. So Mandy in the making. I watch as her. Norin's Kitchen. I've been subscribed to Norin's Kitchen since like forever. <laughs> Oh, cook, clean, and repeat. I also like her too. I like cook, clean, and repeat. And um, as a matter of fact, she reminds me of Mandy in the making. And um, also the Hillbilly Kitchen. Can't leave my girl out. I love her. She cooks from scratch. I mean, she she cooks. She cooks, and she be cooking some stuff. And she also make her stuff um, like more simplified. It'll be like nothing all fancy and stuff like that. It's just home home country cooking. Um, yeah, so hers is called, I always just call it Hillbilly Kitchen, but it's Hillbilly Kitchen slash Down Home Country. So that's the name of her channel. And also, um, I like Chinese Healthy Cook. I watch as her. I've been subscribed to her for a minute now, but I'm waiting to get a wok and stuff like that. Well, I'm just waiting to get organized, period. But I am, do want to, um, invest in, like, a little wok. I, you know, all these. I've seen one a couple of times at Aldi before, but, um, you know, I got to, I don't know. When I buy one, I buy one. Right now, I ain't got no money. We got other things on the side that we uh, try to get done. But I do want to invest in a wok. But, yeah, check her channel out, Chinese Healthy Cooking. She's really good. And her food is simplified, too. It ain't like a whole bunch of complicated stuff and all that. It's just real simplified, real uh, easy for you to do. Oh, Bon Appetit. I like Bon Appetit. Uh, her name is Gina. She's an older um, Italian woman. And um, I, she just tickles me. But yeah, she's be cooking. She also can it. She be canning because she like to make her own um, um, tomato sauce and like spaghetti sauce, pizza sauce and stuff like that. She like to, you know, yeah. So she's always cooking. And last but not least, Gina Young. I've been with Gina Young um, when I first started out on YouTube. I've been subscribed to um, uh, Gina Young. So yeah, um, I like Gina. She's um, she's a very very good cook. She's a very good cook. So I've been subscribed to her um, when I first started out on YouTube. When I first started out, I had came across. Well, actually, Sugar told me about Gina Young. That's how I came across Gina Young. Sugar had told me about her, and I started watching her. And this when I very first when I first started my YouTube platform. Yeah. So yeah, so they those the ones, Erica. That's the um my list. So you can go, you know, check out their channel and stuff like that, and let me know how y'all um y'all like it and stuff like that. Or let me know if some of y'all already been you know subscribed to them and stuff too. But yeah, so they those are my favorite. They the ones you know. That's what I watch. Those are the one I watch. Yep. 
All right, guys, I just wanted to run that down because Erica had been asked me, and I told her, um, you know, I wanted to make sure I got around to letting her know the ones um, that I watch. All right, Jelly Beans, thank you for dropping in watching this video. I hope y'all enjoy the, um, have a blessed night, enjoy the rest of your evening, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe whatever Honey Cook, maybe he might let me record him, who knows. Or maybe he might let me cook a little something, especially if it's something quick. Just boom, throw it together. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you guys. Good night.